Dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the Trahackme, which is a gallery. I've already spun the machine earlier, and this is the IP address of the machine. Yeah, today I will use the local Kernel Linux to do this presentation. However, before we go into today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You're greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. Yeah, we just,、uh, of course, we can, yeah, switch over into the Canon Linux VM. I've already done the MF scanning earlier to save the time. As you can see, I use maybe I can make the terminal to be bigger so you can see what's going on. As as you can see, I used the options like a sync scan, the versus scan. The default script scan, and also use the complete hence scan, yeah, to do the full range port scan. So from the map scanning, we can know that the the two open ports on the target. The first one is eighty, which is running HTTP service, and also the version information, which is Apache two, and the second one is eighty eighty. Which is running HTTP service as well, and also the version information. And the title we can know that yeah the the target yeah is running CMS Simple Image Gallery System. Later we can check whether this CMS has a vulnerability or not. So what we are going to do next is to do emulation for the first port number. Let's launch our browser of Firefox and put the IP address of the target. Of course, I've already made a note of the target IP address. So now we can copy the IP address of the target into the address bar. Yeah, we got the default Apache two page back, and nothing interesting. And then you can check the source code of this page, which doesn't reveal any interesting information, as well. And、uh, next, we can check whether this site has robots file. Yeah, not found. So next, we can use some yeah sort of tools like Nikito. Do some emulation. Yeah, Nikito can give give us very yeah important information about the web application. For example, like、uh, server information, the header information. Sometimes even can give us the vulnerability of the web application, and also emulate out some yeah common file or directory. Although it's inbuilt, what the list is a bit small. Yeah, this case we cannot get such interesting information at all. To save time, I'd like to interrupt it here. Next, we can use GoBuster to do some directory brute force or directory emulation, and use the GoBuster with the dir command or option, and then specify the URL of the target. And then we can go to we we need to specify the word list. Yeah, I'd like to use the dear buster word list as uu and、uh, specify the extension option like PHP, HTML file, JavaScript file, back file, text file. Let's press enter. Yeah, to see whether we can find out some interesting files or directories. In the meantime, in the meanwhile, we can use the browser to make. Manual emulation for the another port number, right? And we can the port number eight eighty. Yeah, we are prompted by the user login panel, and、uh, again it confirms our discovery during the stage of the map scanning. So yeah, the CMS is a simple image gallery system. And however, we can try to use like admin and admin as password to try to log in or sign in. Failed. 
Next, we can try to use the login bypass technique. You know, I used this technique very often. If you can follow along my channel, and uh, password, yeah, any password. So yeah, very wonderful. We we even we have already logged in as the admin to the to the to the, to this simple image gallery system. And you know when I did this, yeah, we can go to the albums, and there's some albums, and we can add a new album like that and we can go to yeah one of them you know from the pattern here because there's some parameters like id like a page when i did the machine the first time i tried to identify whether this page or this target has sql sql injection vulnerability of course in order to do that we can use the bub suite of course, and then we can set the proxy to be burp. So all traffic will go through this proxy. And then we can launch our burp suite community edition. You know, I'd like to show you the some methodology when we deal with the web application, right? So we just wait for this to be loaded and intercept is on. So now we can refresh yeah refresh the page so as you can see the bub suite has intercepted this request then we can copy this request to a file for example we can limit to rick txt and save then we can use the yeah we can go back to yeah has already identified another directory but uh, we can yeah do the sql injection vulnerability testing first yeah, I need to make the terminal to be bigger. So we can use like SQL yeah, map and rec level three. Let's press enter. Yeah, of course you can let it run and wait for the result. However, I think we cannot get such so interesting information from the SQL map utility. To save time, I'd like to quit from this process okay so now we go back now yeah i think we yeah it doesn't matter you know the go buster has already identified the one directory maybe i also can quit from the directory emulation the gallery we can check yeah this directory manually and we can open up another tab and put the ip address of the target and the gallery, let's press enter. Yeah, we got the same, yeah, same page. So I think the the applications, I mean the two applications which are running over two different port number has some collections. Anyway, so now I think it's time to use the search sprite utility to check whether yeah this CMS has vulnerability or exploit to be more exact. And uh, nothing interesting here. Again, if the exploit, the search exploit utility doesn't give us some result, please don't stop here. Also, to make sure yeah, we don't miss anything important, we need to use the Google to make some research. Yeah, to make some search, as you can see here. Yeah, we can use this simple image gallery and exploit as keyword to search on the Google and you can get this link. And of course, I've already downloaded this exploit. This is, of course, this is the Python uh, script. And as you can see here, yeah, this is the Python. And we can run this Python script. Yeah, we need to specify the target. And we can, yeah, the IP address of the target should be this one, right? Hello, number. Let's, yeah, I think the shell is uploading and we got the shell URL. We can copy this one because the web shell has been uploaded successfully. Now we can 
run the command. Maybe I can put it in here. Yeah, as you can see, we got the result. The who am I? The, the user is WW a data. So next, uh, it's so obvious that what we are going to do. Yeah, we need to get the reverse here, right? And this is a very, very normal way. And uh, you, you have already opened up this, yeah, for example, like uh, this one or the pen test monkey, if you, yeah, if you want. And uh, you need, of course, yeah, in this case, we need to try different reversal commands, for example, like uh, as you can see here, yeah, like this one. Also, yeah, like, um, yeah, also this one, but uh, from my yeah, from my yeah, operation, what I've already done, the, the, the this way, uh, other way cannot work except the Python. And uh, of course, we can maybe I can, yeah, I can copy, yeah, except this one, the Python can work in this case. We can copy this reverse here command. Of course, we need to do some. Yes, modification we can put in here. <clears throat> yeah, before we try to yeah run this command, we need to check uh, the version of the Python, right? So we can use which command and the Python. Yeah, Python two is not there, and then we can try to test whether the Python three is there. Yeah, Python three is there. So now we can go back to our notebook. So we, we need to use the Python 3 rather than Python 2. And uh, we need to replace the, the attacking IP address by our Kali Linux IP address, right? Then uh, as always, you know, this is my yeah, personal habit. I'd like to use the 555 as listening port number. And then we can copy the entire command yeah to make sure we don't miss any letter we can copy otherwise this command will will not be executed properly so then we can put in here yeah before we try to press enter we need to set up the listener first we can use the nand cat and the port number and now we can yeah just hit enter and now i Think, yeah, as you, as you can see, we have already got the collection or shell from the packet. And then we can spawn the yeah, bin bash session. TTY. Or the sudo TTY. Bin bash. Yeah, this is much better. Next, we need to do some immersion. Of course, you can upload the name pair shell script. However, anytime we we, we, we cannot simply rely on the automation script or two. Sometimes we need to do the, for example, emulation manually. Yeah, this is very important. And in this case, the I think the NIMPIA shell script cannot lead, lead us to the vector of the, I mean, the privilege escalation. Okay, so now we can navigate to, so maybe you, you'll be wondering how to make the Manual emulation uh, locally, right? This normally I just show you the order. For example, the first one we can check how many normal users, yeah, in this machine. There are two users, and the the first one is Mike. Yeah, of course. At this moment, we don't have a permission to retrieve the user flag, right? So now, of course, and also the the is documents. A permission denied and then we can go back to and then go into the ubuntu directory their permission denied and then also we can check the kernel of the version yeah i think this version is very updated so in other words we cannot find some local privilege collection vulnerability or exploits okay so now what else we can do you know we need to go to the var Oh, the, the first one is OPT. Yeah, to see whether we can find. Yeah, here, there is one yeah, shell script. We can cut out this shell script. 
However, at this moment, we don't know what this is about or what this script uh, will do. Will do, okay? So now, the, another directory we need to emulate is var, right? And the first one and the sub directory backups. If you want to manually emulate the machine, I think the backups we need to, of course, we need to make. Emulation for this a sub directory because sometimes this directory has some important information, some backup file. Here, you have one very, very, very weird directory, this which is not a usual one. Mike home backup, of course, from the name of the directory itself, we can tell that this must be the backup of, of the home directory of a Mike. So now we can go into this one home backup. And then lists of files again here. You know this is very look look like the you know the 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 the, the home directory of the mic. And now we can cut out this. You know we need to know whether there is some command or history of the mic. We can cache history. As you can see, yeah, this user has a sudo privilege and try to run the the sudo and uh, also provide the password of the mic of course this one will be very 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 uh, important information so we just copy and note it down to our notebook so now next we can try to switch our user to the mic and then we can paste the password here yeah as you can see it works so now what else I think first we can get out the user flag. So maybe now we can answer some questions. For example, here, the user flag we have already, I, I forgot to answer the question of the Chahakami loom. And this one should be here. Let's submit. And this, the name of the CMS should be simple image gallery. Let's submit. How many ports open? Yeah, two. Submit. What the hash password of the admin user? So maybe I can now we can go to the. I think this must be. I mean the credentials for the database should be under the www directory. The HTML gallery. And the, the several one we can so maybe the cat config to see whether we can find out some maybe now you know it will take so yeah so huge time to emulate database maybe I can utilize the NPS script. For this purpose for our purpose all right so i think i can navigate to temp directory and then we can yeah we can upload the nympia share script in order to upload this share script we can set up the web server locally on the kali linux then we can switch over back to this shell and then we can use double get utility to upload yeah i Forgot the IP address of the Kali Linux. Of course, I, I I'm so certain you you know how, where to get this IP address, right? So we can put in here, and the Nimpiers. and then we can change mode this file, and then we can run this share script. And we, yeah, we will wait for this to be finished over to see whether we can find, yeah, find the password for the admin. I mean, the encrypted password.
Yeah, it's done. So then we can scroll up. Passwords in home. Of course, we cannot find passwords for the base in the home directory. The sudo, yeah, sudo history files. So, of course, if you don't, if you didn't use the manual way to emulate, also we can use the NinPyoCS script. Here, as you can see, we got the password. And then we can... So where is the password for the database collection? Capability information, SUID binary information. Very weird. I even didn't find the yeah the cron job information. Oh, this is not a cron job. This is the sudo information. However, I didn't find the credentials for the database collection. Very weird. So I think the NinPyrc script failed to discover such information. A bit strange. All right, maybe I use another way. Password. I'm not sure whether I can. Oh, so many data. The password. Okay, so this one should be the. Should be the pass the encrypted password. I'm not sure. Maybe I can copy to see whether this is the right answer. Yeah, it's incorrect. So maybe I can grip and uh, Here. I cannot find the yeah, maybe I can use a uh, at the me at the me, right? Wait. Grip. Grip. DB. It's so embarrassing. I cannot find the Fake. 
Maybe I can use the Google search engine, right? We can use Google image and uh, simple image gallery and database collection. Wow. System database collection file. So where I can configure the database PHP import the provided inside the database. So should it be under the database directly? Database. But nothing there. Really weird. User. Nothing there. Settings. Settings. It should be somewhere. Assess. Config require oh should be here classes yeah db I think we can find this yeah we can search right search this file <laughs> interesting Here, so maybe we can get the collection for the database. Yeah, this should be a password. Okay, this one initialize. So this should be classes. Initialize. So maybe I need to, yeah, I need to find yeah, this one. Sorry about that. out yeah, this file yeah the developer so the passwords so maybe now we can the database the username password 
So now I think we can use this information to log in, right? And we can copy the password. Now we can show the database. And we can use the gallery DB and then show tables. We can select from users. Okay, we got the username. This should be the encrypted password. Finally, we got this. I think now we can submit the correct answer. Let's submit. Yes, sorry about uh, for spending so long time to get uh, this information. So now I think we can quit. Next, we can, yeah, we need to upload, up, sorry, upgrade our shell to the root user. Yeah, we can run this script to, yeah, to elevate. First, we can check this shell script to see what it's about, right? I think we need to put, yeah we need to put the answer and then we'll check the answer yeah if the answer is a version check and we'll run this command and this one and list and if we input the read and then we we'll open up the Nello to open this file so I think yeah to elevate we need to manually manipulate this yeah, this process. So how to do? Also, we can check whether we have a permission to modify this shell script. However, we don't. So next, I think we can run sudo, and we just copy, yeah, this command, and we yeah we input the read. Yeah, however error opening terminal. Maybe also will encounter similar problem. For me, I, you, I will yeah, define the term variable and for example, like uh, X term or Linux. And then we can run this command again. Read. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully open up this report.txt. However, you know, we can utilize the Nano to upgrade our shell or privilege. For example, here we first we can control R and control X, and then we can input. Yeah, we can supply the, 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 the this command. However, I failed to get our privilege escalated. I, I, I show you, for example, we first we can control R. You know, this, this is a bit of very, 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 very weird, right? Control X. Even we cannot, although we can, for example, reset and uh, we can copy this one. Yeah, fail to elevate. I tried so many different things, however, yeah, finally, I didn't get my privilege escalated. Uh, dear friends, if you can, yeah, if you can, yeah, you have already done this uh, machine, and please help me out. Yeah, thank you very much. So anyway, in this machine, I've already demonstrated a variety of techniques. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.